So we actually take a look into this third episode of how season one actually begins, which we see Reiner is actually tucked into bed by his mom, who would actually say that she wished that she, he was actually born a Marlin, a Marlin, but she wished she was a Marlin as well, as they all wish to be a Marlin as well. So they want to become warriors, which we see Reiner actually is training to be a soldier, where we see him, Bertolt, and Andy have met with the others, including Polko, where they actually become candidates for the Titans they will become, in which we've seen their results, which we've seen Reiner became the Armor Titan, Annie became the Female Titan, then Zeke became, became the Beast Titan, and Bertolt is the Colossal Titan. So we knew how they will successfully complete their mission, but as soon as they left, they failed, meaning that they tried their best. However, we actually knew that we seen on season one, on episode one, that they will complete their mission, but we seen Annie beating Reiner senseless, I mean brutally beating him, then we seen him sit back up, and then he's choking her, but we seen Bertolt try to stop them, but he wanted to complete the mission as well, so he actually will set out to complete the mission as as fast as he can possibly be, but we actually knew that we seen them completing the mission, meaning that they actually sneak among the refugees, then they actually enter the scout trials, but we actually knew that Falco didn't actually make it because Reiner was about to kill himself, so we actually knew how he felt. So the stranger asked Falco about what he wanted to do, which he didn't actually try to be the candidate for any Titan powers, including the Armor Titan. So he actually told him that he has lost his memory, which he couldn't remember his friends and family. So he actually knew that if he actually pull on to what he actually believes in, then he will try to find a way to succeed his mission, which the stranger is none other than Aaron Yeager himself, which we see him after the time skip because we didn't recognize him with all the long hair and the bandage covered the left side of his face. So we actually seen Aaron returns, but we actually gonna see how everyone else is doing because we're gonna see them in their time skip as well. So we seen the origin of how season one of the series actually begins, which we seen how all of it actually plays out. So we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment on what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Godrin here saying signing out. Laters, and be safe.